Okay, well done for being brave enough to make it to part two. So, last time we made these uh, lines going up, and I showed you how we did it with making a sort of a stack uh, from cutting sections around that shape that we made right next time. This time, what we're going to do if we look at the other one, we have. Um, Okay, we've got those lines going up. What we don't have is the ones going down, and so the equivalent, the parts that we used, they were all here. We had that uh, center line, we divided it, and we put the sections round in circles, and these were the lines going up, the up lines, as they are written there. Um, I tell you what, this is very quick. We'll do the rings. This is simple. Uh, in fact, I'll just, I'm not even going to copy it. Uh, yeah, we have the the points that uh, oh, these are lines actually here. What we want to work with here is the points. So what we'll do is we're going to shift list and get a line. Let's just copy that one. Um, so the list that we're going to shift, I'll show you. Uh, This is all the, the points around, and you know, th this is a list, and number one there, that, that's a list. It's just a, another tree set. So what we're going to do is shift the, lif the lists around. We're going to take each one of these points and wrap it around this list. Uh, we have the wrap function in the shift list to true, so the bottom one is going to go to the top. Let's just see that happen. Here, now this um, yeah, we're zero zero. That was that one. Yeah, what it's done is it shifted it up one. So this uh, yeah six three seven fifty two two three six three seven fifty two two three. That's now gone to the top. It's gone one. We've shifted by one the offset. Um, and you see the same thing will have happened on this one. Yeah, the four nine five has gone up one, and the one that was at the top here has been wrapped around to the bottom on the next one. So what we can do with that um, is basically, yeah, we have one side of our line there. We can make it go to the other side of the line. Uh, oh, let's just visualize that, preview that. We have, instead of rings now, we can get rid of our rings uh, and our points. We don't really need to see those now. We have set like that and as usual have a wee play with it yay number lines let's turn that up so we can have lots of lines in our system we can have lots of rings and we can mess about the shape of it good right let's do something similar for the bottom end now um, we really just have to it's almost a copy of this. We haven't used this function yet. This is for later on, once we've got kites on here, we're going to be twisting them and changing their angle with respect to the, the stack here. Um, let's get, let's just copy it again. And it's this part here. Now, before I do copy it, I just want to show you how I go about this. The line that we started with in the first place, that was the very, very first, that, that straight line there. Preview that, the one that goes up there. We extend it downwards, um, and so we can change the the length of what we're, we're working with here. Do I need this one? No, I don't need that. Right, let's go back and paste it in here. So I'm going to take this line and I think just doing that we should end up with oh no not yet. Let's have a look why. Sorry, did I press record there, I know what it is. This um is the the new line that we're trying to create. We've extended the original line. Let's uh, have a look at that, preview that. Um the original line has now been extended. Um We need the start point for the second line that we're going to work with, and that comes from 
Ooh, it's going to be one of these. Let's have a guess. I think it's actually that one. Yeah. Weirdly, I've got the bottom one at the top there. Typical. Right, so I think if I preview this now, this is kind of the cheating way. That's basically what we did up the top there. Ooh, and it's not pointing the right way at all, is it? Well, I can fix that in a bit. But let's have a wee look at how it works. Um, we've extended the line, we can shorten it. And we can change the diameters as before. We might need a bulge there or something. Change the number of rungs. So it's almost exactly the same as before. Spread of the rings up the stack. Yeah. So remember these are the domains uh, of the length of that line and it's the 0 to 1 is the full range of that domain and it's cut into, and this 0 to 1 domain is cut into 9 steps here which gives that range. Uh, let's just show you what that looks like. Yeah, there's your range of your steps. So those um, numbers that are parameter the, the, the point you evaluate it yeah I can't remember what T stands for now um, ah. anyway the curve when it comes in that line when it comes in we reparameterize it and reparameterize the, the curve would come in um, yes yeah, see it's 1323 centimeters long reparameterizing it just means we give it the values um, the, the T values the we change its domain from 1 to 0 basically so that we can cut it with these frames and we've made it the same way as before again some odd multiplier 78 is much less than the number that was up there because these are skinnier and we've got the twist up the stack the, the same shifting everything along so we get rid of pieces making sure everything's curved the same way in alignment with each other um, just as before, we take those points, make the lines go up. All the points there, don't need to see that. Mask off the points that we don't want. Um, and yeah, this is basically sh like that shift list, but just on the, uh, if you do the, the mathematical set operation instead. Oh, I don't think you can see that there, can you? Yeah, so we're doing the the tree operations instead of the sorry not sets tree operations instead of list operations. So tree is is the level up, and yeah, this is uh, mask effects are uh, in the set. Put that down a wee bit more. Um, yeah, for dealing with just groups of numbers, groups of parameters, and whatever you're working with there. So in the original uh, time when I when I developed this originally, I didn't have the uh, I developed all the base station uh, mathematics, uh, all the all the stuff for the base station. I think it's not really important that we have that in this one. So that wasn't there in the original. Let's turn that off. Uh, what I did was I, I had it here. So that's yeah one of the parts, and there's some other components. I think they're a bit out of size at the moment, uh, but you can see how if I uh, extend that curve, maybe or shorten it, it'll, it'll shift again. Um, yeah, so th those parts would move. Yeah. So we'll not bother with that in the tutorial one. Um, let's see, what have we got to do next? We've got the part there let's have a look what we've got up here oh the lift line going up above you, again that's just an extension um, there I'm extending the curve and moving the the top so I take the top point and I say okay I'm gonna shift it and I've also so I, I extend it once because it's in the middle of this we make a that layer that's this one let's see it go green where is it I will go green because these are highlighted at the 
moment. Let's hide that. Um, no, this one's hidden. Is that why it's? No, why am I not seeing this? I'm with you in a second. Ah, I think I know what I'm looking at now. It's going to be something up above up here. Yeah, these are the bridles up here somewhere. Ah, that's them. I hide that one. Um, these came from points to the end point of the extension of this line. What we actually, what I wanted to look at was these, the the topping cone net. Uh, I've called it here. So, oh, excuse me. Uh, it's the net that would be up above these lines and rings. Okay, so yeah, the parts that we have here are the top net. How that's worked is we select the very last of the rings. So I've made that number is number three is the last of this set. Um, we've got set three. Um, so we have brackets three. Brackets, we've taken that mask from this data, uh, simplified that data so that instead of saying uh, 3 colon 0 as you can see there with the, with the 5 items in each list it's going to be just uh, brackets so that, that symbol is simpl simplify I've chosen the simplify there if I didn't do that I don't think it would work no. so I have to simplify the data as it comes into this mask um, I don't think that has to be flattened but I've got it flattened anyway Okay, I'm going to leave it for, I don't know why I've got that. Maybe it affects something later on. This point here is the end point of the extension line. Let's preview that, see what it is. That's the line that's gone up. <laughs> I keep extending this line. Maybe I should have just started with one long line and cut it into parameters. You can um, do that with like point on curve command. You can divide a curve in all sorts of different ways. You know that you've got curve up here, um, yeah, different divisions. There's various ways you could have gone about this. Uh, I seem to have gone about it a very odd way this time. <laughs> um, I like that. Uh, you know, this point on curve is super handy. You can take any point there. Um, okay, so I'm going to copy this across into our tutorial one. See you there. Right, so we'll paste it in here somewhere. Did I paste? Oh, I've put it up Yeah. Right, okay. So, the topping net cone, we have got a length thing. That's the length of the line. So yeah, it's the length of the line going up here, I should think. Um, the curve that we're wanting to extend is yeah, the original one. And it's onto the end of it. Oh, we've added a bit there. Let's see. Okay, yeah, I'll just keep it whatever original proportion I had. So we've got that coming at the top now. Uh, what have we got here? We've got the and. Oh, so we've got the end point. And we want to get lots of lines going up to that end point so that the the top cone net is there. Topping cone net. This is we want to take those points. We want to filter them out now. Which points are those? Those are. There must be all of these points, or something very similar. They'll be the ones at the top. Ah, the top ring. That's what it is. So, where's our rings? Uplines. I should have labelled that. This is all points, isn't it? Actually, it's going to be the rings, isn't it? These were, these were the rings. Yeah, it's going to be the top ring that we want. Um, so it'll be that list. That's the one. 
and this number here is going to be the number of rings that we've going up so I can concatenate that with which one's number of kites and lines no we want the number of rungs ladder rungs rings um, let's put that there ah hey oh look it's worked good so again we can play with that um, getting things how we like it just to shorten that down a bit oh yeah I don't want it too long let's let's only have five of those a five I like a five but no cool I like a ten yeah six six was the last turbine that was a good one right well I think mm, maybe we make big fat ones five okay this looks a bit too too many rings there or something? Let's cut the number of rings down. Yeah. Do oh no. Here's the thing. This size and that alignment are out. How did I go about that again? But actually I just had to adjust. I had to adjust the size carefully here. Oh, it's the other end. And there was the rotation, wasn't there? The twist up the stack. They're coming up. Let's look in close. They're not very neat at all, are they? Okay. Um, wonder. Oh, I've got a different number. I should have the same. That's the number of lines in the number. Where is my number of lines here? Yeah, of course. Uh, if I had a wee look around, it's where the uh, the hex the well, the decadon. The, the, what's that shape called? Then? So the number of kites and ring, uh, yeah, the number of kites and lines per ring that that determines the polygon that we're working with. That's basically where we split what were rings there. Um, that's done it split those into the points. Um, yeah, those were circles, that's right. Um, we split them into polygons, which yeah, come out there, the rings. Okay. We can turn that preview off, turn that preview off. Let's stay with the end stuff. And yeah, this is the overall rotation. Let's get that lined up a bit. There's our sizes out a little, so this is, a, you know, I'm absolutely cheating here. I should do, oh, well that'll do. So I've got a bit of a duplicate thing here, I, yeah, it's not the best, I should maybe take the ring from the last one, You're, I could take data from the bottom of this set and cut out the last ring from this one and then make it all work that way, that would be a bit neater, but uh, who's got time? Maybe that's a good place to um, leave this second part of the tutorial. Right. Let's do it.